Dubai's Silicon Oasis is the beating heart of the city's tech scene. And for some residents, like Annette, who moved here eight years ago from the UK, a quick stroll around here might feel a bit like a time travel adventure towards the future. I got this delivered by a robot and it's all easy on the app and it comes straight to your door. It's just good seeing them around the community. It's fun, all the kids like them and they're just a fun thing to see. These automated robots deliver takeaway meals to about 300 homes in Annette's neighborhood within roughly 15 minutes. While they can only travel about five kilometers from this local shopping mall, the sensors and algorithms they're built with helps them move safely to avoid obstacles while sharing the road. And AI software that blocks facial recognition protects the customer's identity when the food gets to their doorstep. It's all part of one trial project spearheaded by Dubai-based food delivery company, Talabat. They are putting a focus on innovation and sustainability. What we realized after the pandemic, we needed to be more efficient with our fleet. There were shortage of riders. In certain circumstances, robots have the same added value as a rider for shorter distances. Ordering food on delivery apps might be quick and easy, but convenience can come at an environmental cost, depending on the mode of transport. Researchers in the UK found that in congested cities like London, deliveries sent by cars or motorbikes can be five to 11 times more polluting than bicycle deliveries. Robots like these could potentially help curb those emissions because rather than using petrol, they're powered by electric rechargeable batteries. We are trying to decrease our carbon footprint. I know this is a small action, but we were always looking to develop new technologies that are better for the environment. Globally, the food delivery business is worth over $150 billion, having more than tripled in size over the past six years. This growth makes operating sustainably a top priority. We've got a huge way to go in terms of meeting uh, net zero commitment. Technology is going to be a huge part of uh, getting to that. I think there's massive benefits in moving away from traditional forms of delivery to use of robots, use of electric vehicles, potentially drones. So investing early in technology generally pays off. I think Dubai is a good example of that. But while the so-called Talabots can only travel short distances for now, it seems they're just getting warmed up to reach the finish line towards the ultimate goal of becoming greener.